right good morning everyone welcome to this data analytics with career guidance course today we are in day 7 of power bi sessions in today's topic let's learn about page navigations bookmarks tooltip and drill through let me minimize this ppt and then we'll go to this in power bi i'm just importing the data quickly so that we'll have some data for uh, creating some reports okay just few seconds we'll do this right so until then i'll just tell you but today's topic is about page navigations bookmarks tooltips and drill through right the data is there now so let's start working on this page navigation you can see that i have this page one this is one page suppose i have multiple pages in my dashboard or the reports what i'm actually creating keep this in mind so i have three pages let me name this okay report zero one this one will say report zero two and report zero three assume that i have three reports i mean three pages in my dashboard i need to navigate between the pages navigate means from one page to another page i want to go usually what we do is we use link if you have worked in dashboards in excel we have links where we give the hyperlinks and then we can move from one page to another page but in power bi we don't have anything as such previously we didn't have this option okay i'm saying you know very old version we didn't have the option of navigating between the pages later on we got something called as bookmarks and now we have a very easiest way of navigating between the pages just for uh, the learning purpose what we'll do is quickly we'll just create uh, some reports i'll just create a simple report let's take region and sales a simple chart i'm actually creating okay i just created one simple chart let me copy this and here paste it and then let me change this to state so we are creating some very simple uh, charts here let me copy this and i'll create one more report here let's make it as category okay three different charts report one report two report three there are three different reports okay all right now i want to navigate between the pages what is navigation that is going from one page to another page when i'm giving this to client i cannot tell the client like go and select these pages like this even in excel also if you create a dashboard we give the links inst links instead of giving uh, these uh, you know um option of selecting these pages like this because sometimes we might have some hierarchical uh, reports as well right so for this there are various easiest way of doing this now what i'll do is go to this insert in this insert we have something called as elements we have various different elements we'll talk about that when we work on the project but now we are actually thinking about we are learning about the page navigations i'll click here on this buttons you can see we have something called as navigate 
when we get this navigator here we have two navigators page navigator bookmark navigator please install the recent exe file of power bi the power bi desktop you should install the recent one okay i'll go and i'll click on this page navigator you just see what happens when i click on this i'll get the buttons like this this is navigator you can see the page say report one this is highlighted these two are not highlighted so if i click on the say control and click on this report two it will go to report two sheet let me select this i just move it somewhere on top okay just keep it here now what you see this is the default formatting is what we get we can click on this report two and report three for navigation that's all this is the page navigator my page navigators are done suppose if you think i want to make this more attractive and then we have to format it otherwise we can just keep it as is and you can start navigating just think i have created one template i have some color codes i have something some animations to be done then what you have to do is you have to go and say format when i'm formatting there are a lot of things which we can actually format with this like we can give borders we can change the font we can change the colors or something but make sure that any formats any formats what you're actually doing should be done in the first page navigator what you create when you copy these two other pages the formats will not be carried so please make sure that you will actually format that in this page itself where you create the first one please create there itself all right so how to format what are formattings we can do see here we have this size and style this anyways we know that we can uh, uh, you know have this height say if you here in this case 50 so if you think i want to make it something like this say with fixed values you can do that otherwise also you can just drag it like this right okay for us this is not so very important let's go here we have so many other uh, you know formatting things we can do i'll directly go to the shape here i have this rectangle if you think you want to change the shape you can go here you can change for any of these shapes for these page navigations usually we'll have this uh, rectangle or rounded rectangle don't take uh, you know some people actually take something like this or this okay you can use these uh, decent ones whichever you feel it's looking good so please use them but don't use something like this these kind of uh, you know buttons and all it's not so very appropriate for corporate uh, reports if you think you are working on some uh, kids reports or something depending on your project please use the buttons but usually what i do is i'll take this rectangle or a rounded rectangle which is actually very appropriate and very nice to see and we can also know that these are the buttons all right apart from this we can go here we have something called a style here we have so many things what we can actually do what is that say for example you can see that i have this text so we can change the color of this text it says black color if you think you want to change you can do that change as well so all the changes whatever you want say fill it's white color if you want to change you can go and you can change that border okay it's black color you can change so there are so many things here which we can change why i showed this is if you see in this style there is one something called as default this is by default what we actually get now what i'll do is i'll go here i'll click on this default here i have so many other options i'll click on this over now what is this what is this say when i go here i selected this it was default now i selected this over now you just observe i will try to do some changes i'll change this to 14 enter okay i changed the font size to 14 and i entered let me just scroll down you have this fill i will select some other color let's say i will select a light blue color right then the border i will take some dark blue color i will increase the pixel 
enough. Now, what is that I did when I say hover? See, hover means what? Moving my cursor like this. You just observe, I'll move my cursor here now like this, see? We can animate however I want like this. So the buttons are getting changed. That means we are just highlighting. So which one to click on that? If you see in some of the websites, when I move my cursor to the menus, we can see that you, you know, the buttons or say the navigation, uh, the page navigations, whatever we have, the text will get highlighted or the buttons are given in the web page, they'll get highlighted like that. We can actually do it. So you can change anything like this. This is for hover. Hover means I'm moving like this. Suppose when I click on this, something should happen. For that, I have this press. When I press, what should happen? Let's say when I press, let everything be same. I'll just change the fill color. I'll make it something like this yellow color. For training purpose, I'm just using some colors, but uh, when you're actually using in the project, make sure that you'll use the right colors, that is the matching colors for your template. See, now I'll hover on this report too, and I'll click on this, you can see it changed to a local. So this is how actually I can have the page navigations. And again, I'm warning you people, please make sure that you'll do all the formattings here only in the first you know, time wherever you insert the um, the buttons, right? The page navigation, please do it in this place only because once I copy and paste, the formattings will not be carried. Means the formattings will not be applied for other pages. I'll show you that as well. Now I'll assume that the formattings are done. I'll copy this. I'll go to report two sheet and I'll paste it. Now you can see report two is highlighted. Now if I move here, see, the hover and the press, the formattings are applied here. I'll go to page three and I will paste it. Done. See? All right. So my page navigations are done. I pasted the buttons here. Let me go back and I feel that there are some changes to be done. What I'll do, I'll go to this style. In this default, instead of this font, I will take say Arial. You can see that this got changed to Arial now. I'll make it bold. Right? Okay. I change the font to Arial and then I'll change this color to something like blue. Okay. You can see it's blue. If you can. Let's make it some other color. Okay. Right. Let's go and see in page two. Hold control and then press. See? The formattings are not carried. Now, what should I do? I can have to delete this and I can have to paste it. So that is why I told you, make sure that you actually do all the formattings here. You might you now ask me that uh, what if we forgot or what if, uh, you know, uh, we didn't know in the beginning and again have to do so that. We cannot help. We have to do it from beginning only. I mean, you have to again copy and paste. So that is why please plan these buttons properly. Okay, done. Now, I created the buttons. Previously, we used to use this uh, buttons here. Go here and you know use all these or say blank buttons. Sometimes whenever you feel that I want the navigation buttons only for one or two pages, then you can use this uh, buttons here. Okay, otherwise now we can use these options. Right, okay. What if one more page I add? There might be chances that there are pages which will get added. I'll add one more page. I'll call it as report 04. So I inserted one more page. Now this also has to be navigated. Let me go and check in report pages, whatever we had previously. Will that be available? See, report folder. Go here in all the pages. We'll have this. Let me paste this here. See? If you keep inserting the pages, the buttons also will be keep getting created automatically. So that is why if you use this report pages, then only it will happen. If you are inserting these, you know, manual uh, uh, buttons, the manually all these buttons, it will not apply. It will not create a new button. So we have to create a new one. 
right okay now let's say this page okay i will hide there are some times where uh, the pages can be hidden we'll create some pages so this will be hidden now let me select this button and then let's see pages in this we have some option called as pages usually tooltip pages i'll be teaching you what is tooltip pages usually this tooltip pages will not be you know given the buttons so we will not have the buttons for tooltip pages if you want you can still enable it but uh, uh, the tooltip pages will not have the buttons here show hidden pages see report 4 is actually a hidden page now let me go somewhere here in report 1 i'll click on this report 4 See, it is taking me to the hidden page as well. If you think I want to have the buttons for hidden page as well, please leave it as is. Otherwise, go to this format. You have this pages, options, show hidden page. I will disable this. I'll off. Now you see, I cannot see that page 4 there. If you go to any of the pages, it is hidden. So this is the page number 1. Right, nothing much actually to you know technically think about it, but uh, make sure that your navigations are actually proper. So now it is very easy. You can go. You can just uh, have the buttons like this page navigation, and you can navigate the pages. Right. Next one. Let me create one more page. I'll call it as report zero five. And quickly, I'll create a report here. Let's say I will copy this. And I'll paste it here. OK, all right. Now, let me change this to map. Let's go here. I'll change this to map. Okay, so this is the map. Let me create one table. And here I'll take, let's say, state. We'll take matrix instead of table. Column headers, let me take ship mode. And values will take sales. Right. Let me keep this here somewhere and resize this. Okay. Now, let's take subcategory. We have more columns actually. Right. Now, let's say I have two reports okay one is with table that is numbers one is with map that is visualization sometimes you know we have to show the reports how we will be showing see i don't want both to be shown say i don't want the map and the table to be shown i want to show either map or table okay understood say i want to show either state which is in map or to show the data of state in table. So for that, what we'll do, there is one simple way. There are some steps what you have to follow. Let me go to this view. Okay, please just follow this step. I'll remove this format as of now. So whatever is not required, just remove it so that uh, you'll have some space or you can uh, you know make that minimized. I will take this selection path click on this selection pan. You can see that I'm getting this selection pan and all the objects which are there in this particular page will be listed down. Here we have two objects, two visualizations here, metrics and sum of sales. So the name of those objects will be given. You can rename that if you want. Then I have one more something called as bookmarks. Enable these two pans, selection and bookmarks. Now, what I'll do, I'll go to this selection. In this selection, what I'll do is, I will 
first what we'll do we'll just keep it one above the other now okay i'm just exact size i'll just do it like this. now the objects are one above the other now what i'll do is i will hide this you can see that hide visualization hide this visual i'll just click on this i mark there is one i mark if i click on this the visual is hidden go to bookmark and i'll say add now here i'll name it as bk map just a name okay bk means bookmark and i've given it as map then let's again go to this selection i will hide the map and unhide the table again i'll go back to this bookmark add i'll say bk table now we just observe i'll click on this see map is seen i'll click on this table the table is seen so bookmark is nothing but the view i can hide unhide i can hide or unhide the objects whatever is there whatever uh, the object has to be seen i can just keep it in the view okay say this is my canvas so what all objects has to be seen i can just uh, make them visible which object should not be seen i'll make it invisible and then i'll create one bookmark so based on that bookmark whenever i click on this whenever i select these bookmarks you can see this view right okay now i'll go to this insert and then i'll say buttons you can see there is navigator and here i have this bookmark navigator when i click on this bookmark navigator as of now i have only two bookmarks so i'll just minimize this take this and i'll keep it here right okay now you just observe i don't require now these things i'll just close so whichever is not required please close it so that you don't get confused with many things and okay. now just observe i'll click on this map hold control and click on this map see hold control and then click on this table So in Excel, if you want to do that, you have to write the macros, but here you don't have to write the macros. Here we have inbuilt option. Now, why we should actually hold control? That is because we are still in designing mode. When we actually publish this, then we don't require the control button as a control key. So you can easily click on that when we actually publish. But as of now, we have not published. We are just, um, you know, in the designing uh, mode. So we have to use this control. So this is bookmark. So for this also, if you want, you can, uh, you know, go here. If you want to format the buttons, same thing, like what we have for this uh, page navigations, we have formatting for these things as well. If you go here, see here also we'll have this over press or something like what we have exactly for buttons, page navigation button. So here also we have those options. So you can go here and you can use the same thing. Again, I'll not uh, teach you everything here. Go and please explore. Okay, All right. So this is bookmark. Now, coming to the tooltip. First, let's understand what is tooltip. Tooltip means, let me go to this first report. I'll move my cursor here like this. You can see there is some information which is coming. This is called as tooltip. See, we can see that, say, for example, I have four different entities, that are four different bars. Let me move my cursor here. It is saying region south, sum of sales. Okay, so all these, uh, whatever the information about this, I'll get here. Let me select this here. We go and select. We have something called a tooltip. You can see that we have this tooltip. If you want to change the font, colors, and things like that, you can do that if you move your cursor. So if you want to change, you know, the values. You can do something like this. You can go here like this. That is the information. By default, we'll get only these informations. That is whatever uh, the columns we have. We'll have these uh, information here. So this is tooltip. Let me go to this. Let's say. Okay, let me take a new page itself. 
and I'll call it as cool tip underscore report. Okay. So I've given the name as tooltip report. I'll create one visualization. Let me take this pie chart. You can create anything, but I'm just using this pie chart. Any visualization you can take. I will create, I'll take, what shall we take? Let's say ship mode. Values, sales. Okay. Now I don't require this legend. Let me off this legend. Okay. Now what I'll do, this page navigation, so sorry, this page canvas, click on canvas. We have this page information. Here we have the standard. See, we have three different types. Select this tooltip. That means I made this page as tooltip page. Right. Next, go to this canvas settings. Here we have the size of the tooltip. It is 16 by 9, which is standard uh, canvas size. I'll go here and I'll make it as tooltip. You can have any of these, but the thing is like uh, in the screen, when you actually move the cursor, it will become very big. So keep it as tooltip. This will reduce like this. Now I can make it a little smaller to fit in like this within the tooltip size. Like if you want, you can reduce the font size or something. You can do that. That you just see how we can format according to your needs. Right, so now my tooltip page is ready and the size everything I've done. Now what I'll do, I will go back to this report one. Now I'll move my cursor here. You can see that the information I'm getting here. Now let's select this report. I selected this report. Go to this properties. You have this tooltips. Here I have by default, whatever is there, I'll get that by default. I click on this, see by default, whatever is there, I'll get. Now I'll select this report page and here it lasts for the page. You can see that I have converted one page to tooltip page. I'll select this, done, that's it. Now we just say, I'll move my cursor now, see. You can see that I'm getting information based on that bar, whatever we are, you know, hovering. The information we are getting like this. Now the advantages, I'll go here. I feel that I don't want this uh, pie chart. I'll change this to column chart. Right? Now let me go back to this report. See? Anything you change here, automatically that will get reflected here as well. Now let's say, I will make it as 16 by 9. Okay. Now it's a very big chart. I'll just select this, copy this, paste it, and keep it here. I will change this to segment. Okay. Now let me go back. You just see now what happens. You can see it's a very big uh, tool tip now. See, it's changing. That's why I told. Make sure that you will keep it as tooltip or try to give some uh, customization. Let's say I just give some 500. Just trying to use this with some assumption. That's it. Okay. I think this should be good. So we'll make it as. 400 by 400. Okay. Let's try to reduce. So we should have some patience when actually you are working on this kind of reports. Okay. Customize. So it was what? 400 by 400. Not take much time. I'm just trying to show you this. Okay. 
let's reduce this to width right and let's make it as 300 250 i think this should be good okay right so we can actually format whoever we want now if i go here to this report one see we can have something like this so very neatly if you have some patience if you think you can format it you can just try to align everything whatever you want to show in the tooltip you can do this right so this is tooltip now let me select this go to tooltip and then let's say default you can see again i got this default done now what I'll do, go here. Let me change the report names. Here. I'll say region. This one will say state. And here I'll say category. Done. Now what I want is when I click on this south, I want this state to filter and have only those states which i clicked on this region we have seen this in uh, the previous session when i click on something on this uh, visualization the other visualizations are getting filtered but not the other page visualizations now what we'll do we'll go here we'll see how actually we can do this that is when i actually select something here the other page uh, you know uh, visualizations should also get filtered how to do that let me tell you Go to this page where I need to drill through, that is to filter. Now we'll go to this page information. We have this page type, and you can see that I have the standard tooltip, and we have something called as drill through. I'll change this to drill through. When I change this to drill through, this page will get connected to the page from where we're actually trying to filter that is we have to give on which column we should filter i will select region i'll go here and select region now what happens wherever i have this region chart okay that will actually help us to filter this visualization that is which we have enabled or say which we have applied as soon as i make this drill through and i've given this region it will give me the back button as well directly to the page where we have this region now let me go back to this region you just observe now i'll move my cursor here see previously it was showing in the tooltip only that region and sum of sales now i'm getting one more option that is drill through click on this now i'll say state you see click on state it is going to that state and you can see the visualization is getting filtered I have this back button hold control and then click on this it will take me back to this page let me move my cursor here to this west drill through i'll click on the state see i'm getting only states of the west region what i've selected again let me go back so likewise i can actually navigate to state now what i'll do i'll go to this category in this category again i'll say drill through and here i'll select the state okay now let me go to this state i'll move my cursor here see drill through category the category is filtered the data is filtered depending on whatever selections i am done let me go back to this region see I'll go here, drill through, I'll click on the state. So based on whatever selection I've done, the data is filtered here, the visualization is filtered. I'll move my cursor here, drill through the category. I'll go back, see, I'll click on this back button, it will go to state. Again, back button will go to region. Let me go to this category. You have the state. Let me click on this add data. Let me also select region. Now let me go back to this region. Now I'll move my cursor here, drill through, see. Now I can directly go to this category as well from 
the region, see, category. Directly take me here. So this is called as drill through. That is from one page to another page. I can actually filter the data. So yesterday, or say in the previous session, we did the, the filters with various different options in that we saw that the filters are happening within the visualization as well in the canvas, that is within the page. Now we can also filter by using this drill through across the pages as well. So this is what we have for today. That is, we learned about page navigations, bookmarks, tooltip, and drill through. So why are they actually used? Page navigations are actually used for navigating between the pages. That is moving from one page to another page. It is just moving. That's all. Bookmarks are actually used to have the view, say, for making uh, the objects or visualizations visible or hidden. Tooltip is actually used for getting the information when I hover my cursor on the bars. And drill through is actually used for filtering the data from one page to another page. That is, we are moving from one page to another page by filtering the data. Right? So this is what we have for today. It's a very useful topic. Please try to practice this very much because when you're actually using, when you're creating a dashboard, the navigations play a very important role because whenever the reports are to be seen, the report has to be understood. The user will actually go from one page to another page. They'll be keep navigating. So these navigations play a very important role in your dashboards. Okay. All right. So I'll stop here. And now the time is for asking, how was today's session? So I want all of you to take one minute and quickly tell me how was today's session. And then I'll take the questions from your people. Quickly, I want all of you. Right. Right, people, thank you so much. Yes, Mohan Babu is saying today's session topics are really helpful. Yes, it is very useful. Sai Anish, please install the app. Okay, in that app, I've given all the data there. So please go and check that. So you will get all the data to practice. Zamir, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Samir. Okay, so all of you, thank you so much for your uh, feedback. So this actually, I keep asking in every sessions. The reason is to know whether the people are attentive, they have understood how actually the session went. Because uh, you know, whenever we teach something, it can be ten minutes, twenty minutes, one hour, two hour, four hour, or something. When the people have understood, it is really good for a trainer to feel that, yes, we have taught something to you people, okay? So whenever I ask these questions, if you have understood or say if you feel good or whatever you have felt, please mention that so that uh, we'll know how the session actually went, okay? All right, so now the question session. So there was one question about tool tip. And someone asked actually for what is tooltip. I think I've explained it. So somewhere it was there actually. Someone asked me about what is tooltip. So I have uh, explained about what is tooltip. Other than this, if there are any other questions, please ask me. I will explain. Any other questions, please people ask. I will explain. 
Gopi, I am still working on that. I'm very sorry. I really very sorry about this weekend with experts. I'm getting a lot of other commitments, getting into other commitments personally, professionally. So it is getting delayed. But for sure, I will promise all of you, this will again start. I'm very sorry. A uh, few things actually, you know, got committed personally as well on weekends. So for a few weeks, okay, for sure, I'll promise I will start. It will be there. How the page navigation is not selected, the tooltip page. Mohan Babu, you can actually do that as well. By default, that will be uh, disabled. Okay, so you can actually enable that. Say, for example, now if you go here, um, if you select this, if you just scroll down, we have this pages. So you can see that show tooltip pages. If you say on, then you can see that. See, the tooltip report is also selected. Usually, we don't go with the tooltip. See, it is taking me to this tooltip page. Okay. Usually, we don't enable that tooltip page actually. Okay. Select this and we disable. So we can do that actually. Okay, Rakshit Gauda is saying unpivot, class 3 unpivot. Okay, sure. I'll uh, explain about unpivot. Remind me in tomorrow's session, I will explain that unpivot. Galaxy M02. I don't know your name actually. Galaxy M02. I'm a new joining. Good session, sir. Thank you so much. Um, you can uh, install our app. All the details are there. And I'll update that. Uh, Zoom link as well. I don't know if something happened with the Zoom today. All of a sudden, there was some technical issue. So the class got delayed as well. So very sorry about it. I'll check that. Okay. After this session, I'll just post the video and then I'll check what has happened. We'll correct it. Okay. Right, people. Thank you so much. So this is what we have for today. So today's session was very simple, but very important. So practice this. This looks very easy, but when you're actually creating the dashboard, we should plan a lot because the navigations play a very important role in uh, the dashboards. Okay. All right, people, have a great day. See you guys tomorrow with one more interesting topic. Bye, all of you.